with Prometheus and Rise of the Planet of the Apes successfully reaching back into the 1970s to create box office hits today, it was just reported that Warner Brothers is considering making a prequel to Stanley Kubrick's The Shining. Hmm, it's ironic that Warner Brothers would treat The Shining as a major success, as it only gained cult status long after it left theaters. In fact, it was met with mixed reviews when it was released and was not only one of Kubrick's few films not to get any Oscar nominations, but was also nominated for some Razzies. Razzies! Even Stephen King, who wrote the original novel, wasn't happy with the film, as he felt that, while good, it didn't accurately reflect what he'd written. In fact, when ABC wanted to adapt another one of his novels for television after having great success with It and The Stand, King said he wanted to redo The Shining next. King wrote this adaptation himself and made sure it was filled with the hotel which had inspired him in the first place, ironically, the Stanley Hotel. Starring Stephen Weber and Rebecca De Mornay, ABC aired the miniseries in 1997 and it was well received. And even right now, King is working on a sequel to The Shining called Dr. Sleep, which follows a grown-up Danny Torrance. But Warner Brothers, just like Fox did with both Prometheus and Rise of the Planet of the Apes, wants a prequel, one that explores how all those ghosts who haunt Jack Nicholson got there in the first place. And so Warner Brothers has quietly hired writer-producer Leda Calagridis to begin exploring exactly how such a prequel might play out. When word leaked that they did, the LA Times noted the pedigree of Calagridis' past work, Avatar and Shutter Island. Sounds promising, right? Well, what they failed to mention is that she also wrote Oliver Stone's Alexander, box office flop Pathfinder, and the short-lived TV shows Birds of Prey and Bionic Woman. Even Shutter Island owes more to Martin Scorsese's visuals than Caligridis' weak adaptation, not even original screenplay, of Dennis Lehan's novel. I recently pointed out that Hollywood continues to hire screenwriters who are successful despite their work rather than for it, such as Damon Lindelof, who made Prometheus a logistical mess. Yet Duncan Jones is forced to take two-year breaks between projects because no one will hire him. He'd be a great fit with The Shining. Or how about Drive's Nicholas Winding Refn? I trust him to make a Shining prequel, and I'd be totally cool if Ryan Gosling starred in it. And those two writer-directors are just off the top of my head. Yet since Warner Brothers has chosen not to go in that direction, and instead with a more mainstream writer like Caligridis, it makes me think they're more in the King camp than the Cooper camp when it comes to The Shining. What do you think? Is a franchise's value in name recognition only and not in style and craft? And could a slow-paced arthouse horror movie like The Shining even compete with the saws and paranormal activities of today? Plus, which camp are you in, King or Kubrick? Me, I'm in the Kubrick camp, yet I don't enjoy today's horror films, which do make an awful lot of money. Be sure to share your thoughts down below. I'm Grace Randolph, and this has been a Movie Bite. You can watch more right now.